Hey, what's going on? In today's video, I have something very, very serious to talk with all of you guys. So something recently happened that made me want to quit the stock market, and I think I am. Um, so I'm going to talk exactly what happened and why I am deciding to no longer invest in the stock market. Yes, you heard me right. I know it sounds crazy, and this is very shocking to all of you. But I'm going to explain every single thing in this video. Let's get started. Yo, what's going on subscribers? Welcome back to another brand new video from the Flaming Profits YouTube channel where we teach you how to become a more profitable investor. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe to the channel. That way you do not miss out on any brand new content. We make amazing videos on advice to help you grow financially and become a millionaire in the future. So make sure you subscribe if you're looking forward to this type of content. Leave me a like in this video before we get started. And also leave me a comment down below whenever you're done watching. I do want to share some amazing free opportunities regarding free money, free stocks. This is with M1 Finance. They're actually offering you $20 of free money as soon as you get started investing with them on finance. All you have to do is deposit $100, but what you can do is deposit $100, they'll give you the $20 and then withdraw $120. So it's $20 of free money that you can choose to invest or just withdraw. So basically free money. And also with Robinhood, they're going to give you a completely free stock. And then we have Weevil, an amazing new brokerage that I've been using recently. And I absolutely love it. They're giving you two free stocks as soon as you sign up. So basically, they'll give you one when you sign up. And then once you deposit any amount, it, it can be like $10, $50, $100. They'll give you the second free stock. So pretty cool. And then we have this secured credit card. By Discovery, they'll give you 1% to 2% cash back on every single purchase. And for right now, they're actually offering you $50 of free spending money as soon as you sign up for the card. And it's basically instant approval, so I highly recommend them. All the links are in the description for these offers. All right, so quitting the stock market is gonna be very, very hard, especially because I am highly obsessed with investing in the stock market. But when you ask yourself, why are you investing? The answer is usually to make money, right? You wanna get a return on your investment, right? So the higher ROI you can get on an investment, the better it is for you. So recently, um, I was offered this opportunity where I could get a very high ROI, the biggest I've ever had the opportunity for, um, that doesn't involve stocks. So I'm gonna have to basically sell all of my stocks in order to get into that investment where I'm gonna get the highest ROI possible. And um, so, can you guess what this investment is? Leave me a comment down below, but I'll go ahead and reveal it in three, two, one. Real estate. Yes, you heard me right. So I'm new to real estate. This is very scary and it takes a lot of money, but I think I'm actually going to go ahead and do this, but I do want your opinion. I'm going to go through the numbers and examine the first deal that I'm going to make. And you let me know if you think this is a good idea for me to do. It will involve me selling all of my Robinhood portfolio. I'm still going to keep investing in my 401k. But basically all of my money is going to go towards real estate for three years. Yes, three years. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. But I'm going to go ahead and run the numbers and explain everything, the whole situation. So let's get started. All right, so the best buying opportunities the cheapest prices you can get on any investment or anything you want to buy is whenever the, the seller is under stress or is under a hurry to get that item sold as fast as possible. And this is the situation that I'm dealing with. So basically, I have a family member that has a condominium that is fully paid for by them, but they are in a quick need for cash and they don't want to pay realtor fees and closing cost fees and all of that so basically they offered me to buy their property and the cost of the property is hundred and fifty thousand dollars so this is how it's gonna work out basically so 
um, that relative is gonna go ahead and sign um, like basically transfer the title of the house to my name so the house is gonna be owned by me a hundred percent once he signs me the title which he's gonna do it in a month from now so in a month from now the whole property will be under my name and I made sure that he changed the title to my name because I don't want to waste all that money that I'm gonna spend paying him off the hundred and fifty thousand dollars for something to go completely wrong and all of that time to be wasted so basically I made sure that I told him that the only way that I'm gonna do this is if you transfer the title to my name and then from then on I can start paying you off the hundred and fifty thousand dollars as the loan that I'm getting um, from him and it's basically a verbal loan um, I could easily take advantage of that family member um, by me saying the house is mine so I don't owe you anything because it is officially under my name but obviously I'm not gonna do that this is just a way to guarantee that um, I'm actually spending the money for uh, like an actual investment and not just wasting it or something that something can go wrong uh, especially with dealing with family but this is such a big opportunity for me because they're basically allowing me to get a property of a hundred and fifty thousand dollars without paying any interest if I were to do this with a bank there would be so many costs involved um, not even just interest but they charge so many fees to start a mortgage and closing costs and everything so this is the easiest and cheapest way for me to get into real estate and it's because of a distressed um, seller basically so this property is two beds two baths 917 square feet and it's actually valued at 173,263 and they're allowing me to buy it for 150,000 the current rent estimate is 1499 so basically 1500 here's a brief description of this property um, it's an adorable two-story condo cozy living area with corner fireplace convenient kitchen and dining looking out to the patio several upgrades include wood laminate flooring upstairs and tile floor downstairs fresh paint um, fridge convey main level one and a half bath upstairs two bedrooms and multiple closets linen closet and halfway and full bath at the top of the stairs and there is an HOA and that covers water and trash there's also a community pool um, just steps away and it's minutes from shopping and more so this is a really good area um, the house was built in 1982 the cooling is central the HOA um, I'm actually gonna cover the exact cost of the HOA I think it's a little bit higher but this is a condominium um, so I don't know if you've heard of condos before but it's basically like like half a house half a duplex it's kind of interesting um, it has one full and a half bath and basically they're allowing me to buy this for 150,000 so right off the bat I'm already uh, appreciating my capital by like 20,000 by me buying it at 150 so it seems like a really good deal and since they're gonna change the name to me being the owner in a month from now um, this basically means that there's no risk of anything going wrong or any sort of family issue going on because it will be under my name so anything that might happen um, at least it's under my name and basically the loan that I have with that uh, relative is basically like a verbal loan where I'll keep track of how much I'm giving him per month so that I pay him off but it's not gonna be like a legal thing um, it's all basically under the book um, the estimate is 173,263. The range it can fluctuate between 165 to 182. So obviously um, it's a really good deal because I'm getting to buy it to 150. And this is in a really good area. Um, houses are actually going up like crazy in this area. It's actually in Austin, Texas, and the city has been growing a lot. So I expect this house to go up even more in value over time. So um, yeah, capital appreciation should be good. Um, let's talk more about the numbers. So right now, the property is being rented by another family member. And that other family member, I'll call him Relative B. That relative is living there and he has actually 50% ownership of the property. 
So it's owned half by relative A and the other half by relative B. And basically what's going on at the moment is he's living there, relative B, but he's only paying enough to maintain the, the normal expenses. So he's not paying like the mortgage or anything, but he is covering all the costs associated with the house. So like the HOA is $265 per month. And then obviously property taxes, which every homeowner has to pay. Um, so basically he's paying um, the 225 per month in taxes um, so that we make, can make that payment on the yearly tax, uh, the property tax. So in total, um, he's covering this two costs, the HOA fee and the property tax because he is living there. So um, he has the right to, to spend as little as he can um, as long as the costs uh, keep maintained. Um, so I won't make any money from rental income as long as that relative B is still living there. But um, it is going to give me some time so that I can pay off both relatives and their ownership of the property, which they're giving it to me for $150,000. So this means that that is my loan to them. And it's actually going to split, be split half and half. So because they're both uh, owners, they own 50% of the property. So this is the equity of each relative. Um, each relative, relative A and B, both own $75,000 of the house. And basically, um, one of them needs the cash now or as fast as possible. So he's okay with me. Um, at, well, what I'm trying to say is he wants me to pay him off first before I pay off the other relative. And the other relative is okay with this. So what I'm going to do is pay off relative A first, which his ownership is 75000 And I've never been in debt, so this is really scary for me. But I have listened to Dave Ramsey for many years, about two years diligently. I would easily qualify for a Dave Ramsey degree. Um, so basically, I would go all Dave Ramsey on paying off this debt as fast as possible because I know that the faster I pay both of them off, the better it will be for me and the faster I can get to invest in the stock market more than, than I can now because basically all of my money is going to go into real estate for the next three years so that means that i can't invest in the stock market i won't have any extra money every single dime that i have that um well i'm still gonna eat right but um anything extra that i have is gonna go to the real estate payoff the debt because um i don't want to deal with this and i want to get rid of it as fast as possible so i'm gonna pay off relative a as fast as possible and then once i'm done with relative a then i can start paying off relative B and then once I have all the relative B's money and he wants to go ahead and move or go to a new house or he needs some money then I can just simply give him the 75000 that's his ownership and he'll go ahead and move to a new property or whatever he's going to do and then I have the whole property paid for all for myself $150,000 under my management and I'm not planning on living there, but what I'm planning on doing is probably just rent it out. Um, that way I can have uh, rental income coming in, which is basically passive income that I can use to retire early. I'm going to try to retire before 30 years old. That's my goal. Um, I'm currently 21. And let me show you the projected payoff date. Well, actually, first, uh, let me show you the benefits of investing in real estate that I'm gonna go ahead and take advantage of immediately as soon as I get started paying off um, this uh, debt that I will have. So the first one is very obvious, capital appreciation. This means that the property cost me $150,000 and because of the, the growing area and the rising of home prices, that means that the property will be worth more money in the future. So right now it's worth around 170,000. Getting it at 150, so I'm already making like 25,000 just from that. But the house should go up in value over time, so it's gonna appreciate um, the value of it in general. And the rental income is 1,500 per month. So if I were to rent it, obviously I won't because I'm still paying off the debt. But once I'm done paying that, I can look for a tenant for that property. And they should be able to pay a thousand five hundred because that's what that 
area normally costs in rent per month. And the last but not least benefit is diversification. This is a holy grail of investing. The number one rule, you always want to be diversified. So you don't just want to invest in the stock market. That is kind of risky because you're putting all of your eggs in one basket. What if the stock market is doing bad for a certain period of time? Obviously, if you just keep on investing, you should be fine. But um, this could fluctuate the value of your portfolio significantly. So if you can get into real estate, that means that you have two different kinds of investments going for you, both working and basically it becomes very balanced and you won't have any issues with very large fluctuations and the actual portfolio value. So how long is this going to take me? The estimated payoff time, I have done the math and with my current income of 50000 which I might get a promotion and get better jobs within this time span, but it should take three years, around three years, to fully pay off relative A and B, a total of $150,000. So it should be worth it. I might as well commit to it now that I still don't have a family or anything like that. So there we go, subscribers. Please do me a huge solid and let me know in the comment section down below what you think of this investment. I'm actually kind of nervous about doing this because I've never been $150,000 in debt. So I want your opinion. Do you think this is a great idea? Is there anything that you want me to watch out for? I really want your opinion because I'm still not certain if I am going to do it, but I think I'm leaning towards yes. So let me know down in the comment section down below. Do you think investing in the stock market will be better for me? Let me know. Thank you all so much. Make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel. That way you do not miss out any videos. And make sure you like the video. Alright, I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.